What's going on guys, it's Greg Meese Ghost Eyes and welcome to Lax Accessory Review 9.0. These are some of my favorite videos and actually in our last one, 8.0 is up to almost 100,000 views. That was a really fun set of products. So thanks for your support on that. We need more accessories to review. So leave them down in the comments. If you've seen something you want us to check out, leave it down there, we'll get our hands on it and we'll put it in one of these videos. So we also did a review, a full video on the Throne Vision Visor. Technically, the cross accessory, we thought it was significant enough to do a full performance review on. So make sure you check that out. Also, Hopkins going to the playoffs. Uh, only wish they could wear some of these visors. So let's get into the review. First up, we've got an OG accessory review member, Swaxlax. We did their first uh, balls a long time ago. This is a lacrosse weighted device. So if you watch Break 100, you know I'm a big fan of weighted lacrosse shooting. I use the training lace. This is Swaxlax's version of that. So let's uh, open this up and see how it installs in the Mirage. There you go. So you get uh, a little card, tells you how to install it. I'm gonna try and just do it uh, on my own. Okay, that's a mistake. There we go. All right, so this goes. Please hold. Boom. Okay, so it's got straps. Basically, put it around the sidewall there like that. This one goes around this side. Strap it up nice and tight. Okay, so I'm sure that if I read the instructions, that would have been a little bit easier. But it basically straps on around the head. It doesn't interfere with your catching or throwing. Add some weight over the head so you want the weight as far away from your hands as possible so it provides the most resistance. Also really easy, you can take it on off your stick rather than a shaft or something that's permanent. So I'm a big fan of these kinds of devices. This one from Swagstack seems really great. Uh, easy to install, easy to use, and it'll help you shoot faster in the long run. So links in the description if you wanna check this stuff out or anything else in this review. Next up are these really cool painted heads from our friend at Tratty Tree. So Tratty Tree, also an original accessory review member. We did a limited edition one. It was a tool to help you string in traditionals and they made a whole line of products now. Really love them. So I've been seeing these on Instagram and there was also one notable college player who used them for NCAA rules. I will not mention who that was, but he was using one some part of the season. This is basically an automotive paint process applied to a lacrosse head. They're pretty durable, but they are crazy looking. So this is a full uh, sparkle pearlescent purple. It's got yellows in it as the light hits it. Uh, it's really crazy looking and something you definitely could not achieve with a custom dye. And then this is kind of a green gradient sparkle as well. So these are really crazy looks if you're looking for something really flashy. I'm not positive he offers this as a service, but we'll put his Instagram down in the description. Make sure to go DM him if you're interested in it. I do know the lead times are a little bit long, but we're probably gonna do some of these for our PLL pros this summer. So leave it down in the comments who of our PLL pros you think should get one of these crazy tray tree painted heads. Uh, they're pretty wild and I think the options are pretty much endless, but these two are pretty insane. So I might even do one for Ocean City as well. This last one I'm really excited about. It's not a lacrosse accessory necessarily, but we did get it from a lacrosse guy, Coach Pugh from the Committed Combine. Got his hands on the Nike Adapt Earl basketball. Uh, and we're really excited to check it out. We felt like it was a really cool piece of tech that would be worth noting. So these are self-lacing shoes. Just like Back to the Future that Nike's been promoting, this was an extremely limited release, so it's cool to get our hands on one. It comes in this crazy box. Got a sleeve on the outside here. here go. Nike swoosh. And then these flaps come out. Lift it off. Boom. There they are. So these are the shoes. As you can see, no shoelaces. It's got a mechanical self lacing mechanism that is down here in the sole. So we've got the shoes, and then here you've got the wireless charging pad. So you sit them right on here to charge them. I know you didn't think you'd ever need to charge your shoes, but now you can. So wireless charging pad, basically how this works is they have a connected app. You set your settings, and when you put your foot in, use the app, it will tighten down to exactly the setting you like for your foot. So as far as actual performance, it's actually kind of a cool piece of tech. They are a little heavier because they have a motor in them and all that connectivity, um, but they're not gonna loosen up over time. They're gonna give you a custom fit. So if you don't wanna use the app, they've also got these buttons here on the side that allow the shoe to get tighter and looser. So you can see there, hear that? The motor's going and the shoe will tighten down your foot for a custom fit. 
Uh, so these are pretty crazy and a cool piece of tech. Maybe we'll see one day they'll bring this ADAPT technology to uh, lacrosse cleats or lacrosse training shoes. That would be pretty cool. Thompson Brothers, you know what to do. Make it happen. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me know which of these three was your favorite down in the comments and also who you want to see use one of those tragedy training pad. Also, who you want to see use one of those tragedy tree painted heads this summer from our pros. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Like if you liked it and have a great day.